Hi, this is Anil and welcome to the video tutorial for the learning lad on C++ programming. So in this tutorial, we're going to be learning something called for loop. So in the last couple of tutorials, we have learned about the while loop and the do while loop. You know, this for loop is another form of loop available in C++. So to use this for loop, we're going to use the keyword for and uh, and between these parentheses, we need to write the expressions or the statements which are responsible for the working of this for loop. And between these curly braces, we're going to write the statements that we want to execute. So here, the first statement inside this curly braces is going to be the initialization. And uh, this initializing statement is nothing but we're going to create a variable which is called loop counter and we're going to set the initial value of that counter variable here and next we need something called condition so every time this condition is checked before running the statements inside this loop if this condition holds good then the statement will be executed and uh, if this condition fails or this condition yields a false value then the statement will not be executed and the next one is called updation okay and this initialization and condition and updation are separated by the semicolons so don't get confused here you know when we use this in our program it will be clear all right now we're gonna see how to use this for loop in our program so as i told you in the while loop tutorial you know if you guys wanted to print some message let's say 30 or 50 times at that time you can't really write the statements 30 or 50 times what you guys can do is you guys can write the statement only once and make the compiler to execute the statement you know as many times that you want so here for the demonstration purpose i'm going to create a variable and i'm going to call it as counter and we're going to initialize it later and next we're gonna write the for loop so it's gonna be for keyword and then pair of parentheses and then pair of curly braces and between these curly braces our statement will be there and here inside this parentheses we need to write the initialization so this initialization is nothing but initializing the loop counter variable we're gonna initialize this counter variable here so it's gonna be counter equal to one and also remember to add the semicolon here next we need to write the condition or the expression which will be evaluated to check whether you know we have to execute the statements inside this loop or not so here for the demonstration purpose we just want to print some text let's say 30 times so here we're gonna write counter less than or equal to 30 that's because we want to execute the statements inside this loop till this counter variable is going to contain a value of 30 and when it becomes 31 at that time this expression is going to fail and uh, you know the control will come out of this loop and next add a semicolon and next we need to write something called updation so as i told you in the while loop tutorial if we don't update our counter variable or this loop counter variable then our program will be in infinite loop that's why we need to make sure that at some point you know this condition or this expression will evaluate to false so we're gonna write counter plus plus so this initialization condition and the updation and inside this loop we're gonna write the statement that we want to execute so here it's just gonna be a cf statement and uh, we can output the counter variables value also counter and um, add an arrow then learning lad rocks and add end line all right now i'm gonna save it and build build and run this so you guys can see here our program has printed learning lad rocks 1 to 30 times so what exactly happened here is you know when the system executes this for loop 
when this for loop is encountered for the first time the variable this counter variable will be initialized to the value specified here and then the condition is checked and if this condition is satisfied then the statements inside the loop is executed and then after executing all the statements inside this loop this counter variable will be updated and again this condition is checked and if it is satisfied all the statements will be executed this updation is done again condition is checked when this condition become false you know the control will come out of this for loop and another thing is you know if you guys want to create this variable here inside this for loop you guys can do that while initializing so i'm gonna remove this here and i'm gonna write int counter no problem but if you create this variable here then this variable counter is available only inside this for loop so you can't refer this variable counter outside this for loop just remember that and also here in updation you guys don't need to you know increment it every time it may be decrement or or if you guys want to add any number to this value you guys can do that but it must be updation process which is gonna cause this expression to fail at some point all right guys now i'm gonna save this build and run this so you guys can see you know our program has executed as it was doing before and the last thing that i want you guys to teach in this tutorial is let's say if you guys want to create a infinite loop at that time what you guys can do is you guys can remove all the statements and uh, leave the initialization blank add a semicolon leave the condition blank then add a semicolon that's it if i run this program this is gonna be an infinite loop so i'm gonna delete the counter variable here because you know we haven't declared it and also i'm gonna remove this arrow i'm gonna save it build and run this and when i run this program you know the program will not stop just because you know this is a infinite loop build and run so you guys can see here you know our, my program is not stopping you know it's an infinite loop so this is it guys this is about the for loop in c plus plus thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe if you guys have any doubt don't hesitate to ask us and uh, like our facebook page at facebook.com learning lad and i'll see you in the next tutorial